My name is Daniel. I go to USC School of Medicine and I'm a second year. My name is Sneha and I go to Keck School of Medicine of USC and I'm a second year. Okay, so what we're going to do is give you guys a little challenge here. We want you guys to both take the same quiz, but only one of you is going to be able to study with Sketchy and the other one has to use a textbook. So we're going to do it through a coin flip. So whoever wins the coin flip gets to choose whether they want to use Sketchy or they want to use the textbooks. Okay? All right. Heads? It's oh, tails. tails. Ooh, so you get to choose <laughs> yeah. what you want. I'll take the sketchy. Okay, so we've set up both of you with the supplies that you need for the quiz we're going to give you. And we're going to put 35 minutes on the clock for you to be able to study, take as many notes as you want, and use the resources given to you to the best of your abilities. Okay guys, we're gonna pause your time quickly because I wanna ask you how you're feeling at this point. So Daniel, how are you feeling? Pretty good. Uh, there's a lot of like easy ways of remembering it with the cartoons and it kind of like connects back to other sketchy videos I've seen like that use the same symbols. So it's pretty easy. Okay, great. Okay, and how are you feeling now that we're halfway through? I'm feeling okay. It's kind of a lot of information and a lot of different sources. So it's kind of hard for me to synthesize right now, but um, I'm getting there. Okay, okay. good. Okay guys, your 35 minutes are up and now it's time to take the quiz. It's 10 questions long and you can take as long as you want to finish it. Uh, so just let us know when you're finished and feel free to start whenever you're ready. Now that you guys are finished with your quiz, why don't you tell each other how many you missed? I missed four. Okay. I missed one. Okay. <laughs> All right. So now that you are finished with your quiz, what are some final thoughts that you have? Yeah. So, I mean, so I just spent that time reading all that information and I don't think, so while I understood most of it, I think it was hard to kind of retain and absorb it. So when I had a question that was asking me to think critically about the topic, it was kind of hard to synthesize everything I'd learned and put that together to answer it. So that's, um, but yeah. Yeah, it seems like sketchy works. Uh, the videos are memorable and they're pretty fun. Um, and it kind of just compresses like all this information from like, you know, various different chapters all into one video. So it's like kind of nice to all have it in one place and all have it like synthesized together. Uh, like all the different parts kind of playing in together. So I definitely am a huge fan of Sketchy. I think especially for things like microbiology or farm where there's just no rhyme or reason to understanding it for the most part, it's really easy to just kind of have you Sketchy where there's a lot of memory hooks and it's, it's the type of thing where I literally can just remember it a year later after watching it versus a lot of other things I kind of forget the second I learn it. So that's one of my favorite things about Sketchy. It's definitely a really core part of my study process. Yeah, so I kind of started using Sketchy uh, for micro, uh, and that's really great because there's just so much bacteria and microbiology to memorize. Uh, but then I kind of started using it for farm, and even for path, it seems like it, it works. Even though it's uh, less memorizable concepts, it's, some of the concepts are a little bit more difficult to understand. Uh, so it, again, it like kind of synthesizes everything together, and it's kind of nice to work with that.